Uh, right then, I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a video to explain the port timing calculators. I do get asked quite often um, what the score is with them and what certain fields mean. So uh, here we go. So go to the uh, page. I'm already there, obviously. Um, stroke is obvious it's the crank stroke cod rod length is also obvious piston to top piston crown to top of barrel at TDC is one that confuses many people this is the distance from the top of the barrel to the top edge of the piston crown at the top dead center um, most engines this number would be a positive number because the piston will sit slightly down from the top of the barrel because the head won't have any kind of step in it and to get you 1.3 squish or 1.2 squish or whatever squish you're after the barrel would be configured so that the top edge of the piston at top dead center would be around 1.3 down from the top of the barrel because that would give you your squish that's not, not necessarily the case with every single engine there there are instances where um, where if you're running a very long stroke on a standard length barrel you may choose to run the piston slightly out the top of the barrel and use a head packer or better still have a recess skinned into the head which forms part of the head being part of the top of the barrel as it were to give you longer millimetre distance and also um, shorter timings um, for various reasons so if that was the case and the piston was poking out the top of the barrel with your setup that would be a negative number so in most cases it will be a positive number and it will be around 1.2 1.3 millimetres so 1.3 I'm going to enter. Uh, this is the distance from the top of the um, barrel to the top of the exhaust port. Um, I'm going to give 36 mil. Tell you what, I'm going to give 35 mil. Um, scroll past the shameless plugs for the t shirts and stuff. For these websites, don't pay for themselves. When you get to here, um, this auto fills the fields that are the same in each area. So the stroke and the crank, the stroke and the cod red length will be the same. So <coughs> if you click that, in all the other fields, it enters those numbers for you. Uh, this next one is the transfer duration. So again, this one is from the top of the barrel to the top of the transfer ports. Those are in the middle, they're not always straight. Um, I generally measure to the middle, the center of the top of the port. So um, it's say like 49 mil. That'll give you 130 degrees. Um, the blow down, um, to explain what blow down is, that's the time that the exhaust port is open after after the engine's fired before the transfer is open so it's the amount of time or the duration the engine has to expel the exhaust gases before the transfer ports open and start to refill the cylinder um, higher blow down numbers enable um, enable the engine to rev higher in normal instances and higher numbers will produce more power at higher rev ranges but that is at the detriment of the low to mid range power. So this setup we've just done um, gives 196 and a half degrees exhaust timing and 130 degrees transfer timing, which gives you a blow down of 28 degrees. Um, Personally, for a touring engine, I aim for around 27 degrees blowdown. Um, 
more top end for dyno numbers you'd be looking at over 30 degrees 33 degrees for race bikes even higher um, but high numbers on a dyno don't usually translate to um, a nice bike to ride on the road but that's another argument for another day um, inlet duration if you've got a reed valved engine such as a TS1 or a GT or an RB this won't apply to you you won't need this at all because the um, because they are they are 360 degrees inlet timing and the only thing that um, determines the inlet timing is the pressure in the crankcase closing and opening the reed valves but if you were doing a standard engine you'd measure the piston height on the inlet side so that's from the top the top edge of the, the edge of the crown of the piston to the bottom of the inlet skirt so let's say I don't know something like 72 degrees uh, millimeters not degrees and then the next one's in inlet floor depth which is from the top of the barrel to the bottom of the inlet port so you went like 97 degrees that gives you 137 uh, degrees. I'll tell you what, let's change that to 71. Let's change it to 7 to make it better. 144 degrees, 145 degrees. Um, ignition timing calculator. This is pretty straightforward as well. So if you know the degrees you want on a static timing, so let's say you want 17 degrees, or if you're setting up variable timing, if you know um, where you want the base setting to be, so you want it. 24 degrees 25 degrees such as a vape sport and you want it to back off to 17 degrees you can mark each point you can mark each point on the magazine using the um, arrow on a flywheel and using this method to determine the position so if so you want 17 degrees timing before top dead sensor um, that calculates to 1.73 millimeters before top dead sensor and the way you'd have to do this is using a dial gauge so you take the head off set your dial gauge up set your engine to top dead sensor zero the dial gauge and then turn the engine backwards 1.73 degrees and then mark the mag housing where the arrows point in and that will give you 17 degrees also obviously mark top dead center where the arrows pointing don't rely on the um, original existing marks on an old mag never rely on them they're very rarely right uh, the next one is the cc calculator pretty straightforward just enter your bore the piston size for instance uh, 62 stroke is what gc 240's got 70 bore which calculates to 238.6 cc um, that's all I'm going to do today on here if there's anything else anybody wants me to explain or wants me to go through about things on the website even, even if it's about uh, any of the write-ups on the touring that we've done around Europe um, anything you want to know just email me or contact me on Facebook or leave a message at the bottom of those videos and I'll try to accommodate you. Um, I intend to do a few more of these videos because I think they'll be quite interesting. Well, maybe you'd like them, maybe not. You let me know. You tell me, do you want more of this kind of crap or not? Feel free to take the piss. Um, this is the first one and no doubt it's horrendous. So that's my signing off. Um, I'll see you later in the year on the rally. But you'll probably hear me way before that on another one of these videos. Like us.